Hi, I'm Isuri Ramanayaka, founder, educator, Baby Minds Sri Lanka, Iko Montessori. So as I promised, today we are here to talk about uh, what you should do with your children, especially when they're at home. What are the materials that you should use, how to use it and when to use it and how to present it to your child. Uh, so we have discussed about all the um, uh, few areas uh, in our previous videos if you have seen it. So today we are uh, going to talk about from birth to six months children at home. So how you can help them when they are at home. Uh, so in our, one of our previous videos we have discussed how you should uh, prepare the environment to, uh, uh, in order to help their needs. So let's talk about, today let's talk about the materials that you should purchase uh, to give the best to your children. When you prepare the environment for your child, especially the home environment, because that is where the child will be staying for a long period before they uh, arrive to the Montessori environment, uh, you should always believe in these things. You should always trust your child, as I always say. Thank you. Goodbye. You should always trust your child uh, when presenting these types of materials. You uh, and like it has to go always according to your child's need, your child's uh, uh, flow of the development. Not we can't expect from them what we want you can't gain from the child so you have to wait and see you have to always observe providing the right environment for your child so one thing is that you have to trust your child and the child is the center of this environment and other thing is the sensitive period you have to consider all these things when you are choosing a material for them sensitive period as a sensitive period for order language um, to uh, perceptions, uh, things like that. So in future we will be talking about all that. Uh, mainly today we are going to focus on the shelf for infant to uh, six months. So uh, let's see what's in there first. As you know, when they come uh, home uh, from the hospital from day one, uh, I have shared a video on my Instagram page uh, how we have prepared the uh, room according to our child's need. So you can always go through that. I will be sharing the link. And uh, there you have uh, natural sunlight. Uh, everything is very simple, calm, uh, nothing uh, like to overstimulate the child. So everything is very calming to the child. Uh, um, without using lots of colors uh, so it, it, it can be a little bit overwhelming to the child so you have to be always careful how you prepare the whole room so this area is the activity area usually you will see it an infant uh, movement area a mirror um, a nice mat to you know to practice their movements uh, a mirror and a small low shelf like this from birth you have to do these things yes a low shelf like this and then a place to sleep a place to change a place to put their um, nappy things like that uh, so it's really important to prepare the uh, 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 the first six to eight weeks we say it's symbiotic period in the child the first few days, it, they'll, they'll start to build the relationship with the mother and the father and then the baby. That is a relationship they build the first few weeks. So the first few weeks will be like that. So there are so many mothers, they just uh, call me and asking that uh, what are the types of activities you should do with your child from birth. So I would always say uh, that first thing is to build that relationship with your child. You have to communicate, you have to look at to their eyes and talk. So the touch, you know, that is the most important relationship that you have to build with your child. And then uh, step by step, gradually, you can uh, start uh, introducing these uh, things. So the child is important. 
uh, during that first few, few weeks and then the environment. During this time, the child's vision and concentration is developing. So you, you can help the child by uh, introducing them the contrasting abstract uh, black and white uh, cards. You can maybe hang it somewhere in this moment area or uh, where you uh, change, do the changing of your child. Uh, you can hang it there on that wall and then help them to uh, develop that uh, sense. So just after the mobiles, uh, you can uh, introduce these type of rattles for your child. Uh, you see, it's all made out of wood. Um, nothing uh, complicated in it. It's very simple, beautiful. Um, you see, they can make uh, noises with this. This is a wooden rattle. Uh, these are the materials that you can use with them from birth. You see, they can make uh, sounds, they can make loud sounds, they can make soft sounds. So they learn all these things with these type of materials. They can uh, feel it and then they can uh, see that it's uh, whether it's smooth, whether it's rough, whether it's cool, whether it's warm, everything. So these are the first, um, um, as you say, toys that you can use with your shell. Uh, that is one thing, it's wooden rattle and uh, this is some wooden blocks, there's also a mirror in it uh, and there's, there's another rattle and here as well, so I have uh, displayed everything on this low shelf so when the child is starting to crawl by six, seven months they can independently come here and take uh, whatever the material they want, uh, they can choose it and then work with it. So this is also another type of a rattle. And some wooden uh, pig dolls like this. Uh, so all these things are real. Uh, it's not uh, made out of plastic. It's made out of wood. So it's really important that you give the real materials for your child as I always say. Then only they learn to touch it and then feel it to the, the texture of it, the temperature and the color, uh, the simplicity, beauty and everything matters when you uh, give that to your child. So always try, make sure that you choose the right thing for your child. So as you can see these pig dolls. Uh, you know the child, they first start to like, uh, uh, if you, I will just keep it here. So when you touch his uh, palm like this, they like close their uh, uh, palm suddenly. So they, they have that, you know, the, the, to grasp things. So first that is how they start to grasp it. And then only they slowly develop to use their fingers, to use the thumb separately and use the pincer grip and to use all these hand muscles and then you know to form that uh, um, uh, human. So this is from, from birth, from day one. This is how you can help your child to be that, you know, create the, that, that create the uh, man that he wants to become. So these are the materials that you can uh, present to your child. These things I made at home. Uh, it's all, this is a jute uh, material and this is hand loom. Uh, uh, and you, I have put some seeds inside. So when they touch and feel it, you know, it's stimulating to your child. And um, sometimes you don't always have to have these type of materials. You can always go out walk in this nature and you can uh, let the child hear the sound of the birds, uh, wind, the colors, the blue sky, the you know so many things. Sing with your child, always play some flute music or some very soothing music uh, apart from all these things for your child all the time. So let them you know to to explore the environment, to adapt to it slowly, to to uh, discover things around them, you know, that is what you have to do without like uh, putting them with 
lots of toys among lots of toys and with lots of vibrant colors and you know it must be very uh, difficult for your child at first so you have to be very mindful when you choose these type of activities for your child and the other thing is always communicate with your child talk with him sing with him and then when you even when you change the clothes even when you give the bath to the your child always say here yeah, look i'm going to do this for you i'm going to change your trousers i'm going to put a new nappy on you and i'm going to wash you and then i'm going to comb your hair like that you can always communicate with your child that from then not that from there only you start building the trust with your child it's not something that you can do when they are like 3 4 years it it starts from birth from your home with you with your child so you have to be mindful with all that this is a good uh, material for their grasping uh, as you can see this is also made out of wood and um, This is also something I made at home. We call it Montessori O ball. Um, this is also like help helps them to hold it properly because if it was and this is also found it in Sri Lanka. It's all made out of natural materials um, and a wooden bo book like this. A wooden book like this. Uh, I I like this. Uh, wooden uh, concept of the book but not the numbers because you never uh, introduce a child numbers by this age it's really important that you do uh, uh, place on the ma uh, on the floor a uh, floor mat with a mirror for your child to practice that movement for them to turn over and then roll over and then start crawling things like that and a wooden bar so they can uh, hold it and pull themselves up so these are the things that you can like i know that there sometimes we like try to um, make play pens and then fences and then you know uh, then what we we are trying to stop our child from that you know there's a developing need in them so we have to support them by providing those things not that to uh you know uh, to um destroy that by placing these type of fences and play pens and things like that i know it's hard but if you can do that for your child it's really important and the tummy time that is also really important that is how they uh develop their strength in their neck because they can't still you know hold that neck and when you keep your child lay, uh, uh, on the mat during tummy time you can put some uh, these type of dolls or some rattles uh, in a basket like this and then give the child to explore and that's how they build that strength on that neck uh, and when they are around 6 uh, 7 months uh, you should uh, introduce the first uh, um, egg and cup um it's we call it the first puzzle that they uh uh do so this you know they 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 don't have the coordination yet so this we give for, to develop their eye hand coordination so they they start to like you will see in a video that uh, how agatisi was trying to hold it and then you know to coordinate his movement and then to you know finally put the egg on this cup so that is something like that and this is another one like that see this is also another one like that these things you can always make at home uh, not that expensive also it's really simple very natural earthy colors and real things for your child this is our opportunity as parents to uh, consciously prepare the environment according to your uh, child's need in order to uh, help their self formation so uh, with these uh, materials you are helping your child to develop that and then also uh, to be independent to do to use their movements uh, coordinate their movements properly 
and also to use the will. Uh, uh, we will be talking about all that in future. So whatever the materials that you have helped your child uh, here, later by let's say from six months, seven months, they start uh, to sit and then have their first meal. So that for that you can introduce this type, type of uh, uh, glass for them to drink water slowly. So that is what the child has been prepared all this time with these materials to do here now by six, seven months to use this cup independently and then uh, use it when drinking water. So independently, not with help, not with your help, but uh, with his, uh, you know, that is something that he has developed on his own. So that is why it is important for you to give the right thing for your child in the right way. As you can see in these materials, you see only one skill at a time, not too much for your child, not uh, even less for your child, the, just the right amount of uh, challenge for your child. Uh, uh, we have presented in this material. This box is made out of uh, cane and this is a wooden block. So the child is practicing to grasp it and then release it. Grasp it and then release it. As you can see. Uh, this is also the same. Look, he can uh, remove it and then he can uh, place it back these are so one skill at a time so when you give battery operated toys for your child it's a bit overstimulating and then too many uh, skills at once so then the child sometimes they'll be very distracted and then it won't help your child's you know to to form their uh, intelligence and as you know, I, as I always say, the formation period, the, the first three years is the most important period for your child. So you have to make the right, right choice and that is your responsibility to do so. And so I have, we have been talking about this again cup to grasp it and release it. And then, uh, you know, with, with, with time they like tend to transfer from one hand to the other hand. You know, when you just see, observe your child slowly without jumping. Now, if they do, like let's say he managed to put this egg in the cup. Now, if you like clap and then start out loud with your child saying, Oh my God, what a great thing that you did. You know, sometimes it affects their uh, concentration. As I always say, not don't always jump in and then you know to uh, to tell the child oh my god you did such a great job it has to come within himself let him enjoy that moment let him focus with that activity to to make that attention with that work and then our 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 goal is also that slowly and gradually we the, the attention span we are going to increase it so when you say things like that when you start commenting on your child's work like that uh, sometimes it affects your child in a negative way so you have to be really careful with all that and some uh, sensory uh, stimulating bags like this for their tactile sense especially and for their um, auditory sense as well because there are nice things and some head dolls the rattle wooden rattles again and you can see from here different colors a wooden ring and wooden blocks so uh, you will see all the qualities in one, uh, not, uh, let's say, um, for example, if you take that this ring, uh, it's just the wooden ring, uh, it's not painted, so it will not distract your child with, you know, 
with lots of colors and things like that. If you want to know more about uh, how their mind works, how, what and like, how from where to purchase these uh, uh, materials and if you want to know any uh, more information about it, please uh, feel free to contact us and uh, you can always comment uh, below and then uh, send us your questions. Uh, we will make sure that we answer your questions and then uh, if there's anything please feel free to call us and also we have introduced Baby Mind Sri Lanka uh, developmental guide for parents uh, we have it for different age categories so you can always order this from us and also in future we are planning to do uh, some sessions for parents uh, talking about the importance of early uh, stimulation for your child uh, with the right uh, amount of work. I hope that today's video was helpful for you. Uh, please share among your friends if there are new mothers uh, or ex uh, the mothers who are expecting. Uh, please share this video with them and then help them to be aware of the, uh, the, the importance of uh, early intervention. Uh, with your children. So please subscribe our channel Baby Mind Sri Lanka Iku Montessori and uh, we, we, we also have uh, our, uh, uh, pages on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow it and then go get more information. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, see you with our next segment.